topic of today's video is install the slides points of identification lymphoid system lymph node a section to the lymph node is covered by capsule with trabecula completely dividing the parenchyma into cortex and medulla endothelium line subcapsular and trabecular sinus present deep to the capsule and trabecula respectively cortex contain dark staining lymphoid nodules with pale staining germinal centers medulla contains medullary cords and endothelium line medullary sinuses spleen section to the spleen is covered by capsule which sends in trabecula deep into the spleen's interior the parenchyma of the spleen has diffuse red pulp and white pulp white pulp consists of dark staining lymphoid aggregations or lymphatic nodules surrounding the central arteriole located eccentrically red pulp consists of splenic cords which appear as diffuse strands of lymphatic tissue and splenic sinusoids forming a spongy network it also contains pulp arteries and venous sinuses tonsil surface of the palatine tonsil is covered by stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium tonsil is invaginated by deep grooves called tonsil crypts that are also lined by stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium below the epithelium are numerous dark staining lymphatic nodules along the length of the tonsil crypts a dense concrete tissue capsule underlines the palatine tonsil sending trabecula with blood vessels towards the surface of the tonsil thymus connective tissue capsule sending trabecula subdividing the gland up to outer cortex with a continuous inner medulla that is known as incomplete lobulation cortex is dark staining which contains densely packed lymphocytes medulla which is lighter stain contains fewer lymphocytes on epithelial reticular network eosinophilic oval aggregations that is walls of flattened epithelial cells called as hessel or thymic corpuscles are seen in the medulla